I believe that um, we have, um, you know, opened fronts in the, in this area, and uh, if necessary, um, further discussion can be had. I just wanted to tell you, but of a st one story of my own, where. Oh, yeah. On my first job after I left university, I had worked worked on it for thirteen years, and um, I I wrote very fast <laughs> in those in the in the in the in the past. Uh, 11 years was promoted on time as uh, the organization's regulations were. But I got to a level where I was, I realized I was being edged out of my job. And I mean, I, I was so confident that I should be moving on. <laughs> and um, of course, it didn't happen. And it was so clear that I was required to go away. And um, so, as I was required to go away, I actually resigned. <laughs> and um, I decided to have a last talk with my boss. And I went to him, and I told him, now that I'm going, I would like to, to know what I did wrong. <laughs> because I, I, I'm sure that you people wanted me to go. And uh, he looked at me, and he told me, do you really want to know? And I told him, yes, I really want to know. And um, so he told me, he was such a great worker. <laughs> and uh, I am sure you thought that, uh, you know, you, you will go for right, right up there. But let me tell you, when you get to the level you've got to, you cannot, you, it, it's not just hard work or even smart work that pays. You need to play some politics. You need to cooperate on some issue. <laughs> but you didn't. And um, I knew the issues I had not cooperated in. They were especially issues related to ethics. I didn't, you know, nobody could make me do what I thought was unethical. So I, <laughs> so I told him, so he, he told me anyway, you know, you either didn't know how to play the game or you did not want to play the game. So I actually think one thing is that you know for sure I didn't want to play the game. And um, as because if I wanted to play it, I would have had the way to know how to play. So anyway, <laughs> I left the job and at that point in time I felt like how much I have to work now I have to go and start somewhere else or afresh and um, as, as, as we were told earlier is that you may have to give up a lot but eventually you will be paid a hundred times over. And 
this is what happened with me after that. And, um, uh, you know, I always say in my, in my language is that I thank God that I actually left. That they edged me out. Because that led me to many other possibilities. And I, I must say that um, I found the truth of that being paid a hundred, a hundred times over. So I, 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 I want to believe that um, you have learned a lot yourself. I have also learned some new things today. And uh, we are sure that uh, we will all get out there and do what we ought to do. This, this few minutes, we shall do question and answer time. And please, question, comment, anything that you want to say about this is welcome. Do I need to persuade people to talk? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yes, this is Peter Gidiomi. Peter Gidiomi, go right ahead. Yes, maybe I can, uh, I wanted to ask the, the team, mm -hmm. especially John, maybe you can also clarify, mm -hmm. normally there is a very thin line, sometimes when you are working uh, with you are an engineer and you are working with a, a contractor. Uh, what is the difference between, uh, or even like when uh, uh, you have a client where you are tendering, and uh, the, 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 I would request him to clarify the difference between uh, a gift and maybe some like a bribe. When you, when can it be? Called that this is a gift, and when is this a, a bribe, which is again heading in the wrong direction? Uh, yeah, thank you. That's one of the questions I had asked people to discuss, but I was, I was not I was not able to get people talking. When does a contractor think? One of the questions I was asking: When does a contractor think that the gift he has given you will influence you? When does he think? Because, because they are, I, I know that. First of all, let me give you a blunt answer. Every gift from a contractor or a customer is a bribe. Every, without any exception. I used to speak that as theory, but I've just told you how I used to be in charge of a, aviation. And um, these aircraft, I used to give them credit cards so that if they fly to Europe, they can they can they can they can get um, fuel from 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 shell companies in Europe. So the captains were my darling, you know. The Urine those days they are no mobiles. That's that's going to us forty years ago in the nineteen eighties. Now and uh, the 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 the, 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 the ring, like somebody oh John I'm calling from Rome, calling my house over the weekend. If I'm not there they talk to my wife and say, Wow, it is a great friend of his Every Christmas, I had real difficulty with so many gifts. And I kept telling them, save your gifts. The day I'm out of aviation, when I'm in another department, bring all those gifts. But for now, I don't think it will be good for me to accept your, your gifts because of possible impl implications. And if you give me the gifts, I'll hand them over to the company, which, of course, the, the client did not want. One day, I moved out of the aviation. You know, this is, I left aviation 1987. So you can see it is uh, that, uh, that uh, five years ago. Not even one of the, and there are many companies, has ever offered me a calendar at all. That's when I discovered 
Even the calendars and diaries I was getting were simply bribes. I was given, not as a friend, but I was given so that I remember them. So that I do some. So you need to understand there is no such a thing as a gift from a client. And that's why the company needs to have a gift policy. Among the many policies I was talking about, there needs to be a gift policy. And the gift policy says something like this, anything you are given by somebody you deal with officially must be handed over to the company. Because the reason why you are getting that gift is because the company served that client well. So, we, we have already paid your salary. So, anything you get cannot be added in addition to your salary. You return it back to the employer. The employer can choose to give you. But you can't... Get, so, in, the, in, that, in that process means you cannot stop people giving gifts. Because of a discount. If they are selling a car to you at 300000 you can decide to give me something and... Uh, instead of giving me 300, give me 350. But the 50 that does not belong to me as an employee. It belongs to the, the person who did a good service. So there is no way anybody called an employee can receive a gift and fail to give it to the employer. Number one, because I've told you it's in its meant to influence you. Number two, because you don't deserve it as an employee. But I did a very good job. It's true you did it. Because you did it, the company got good marks. And because you got good marks, you got a bonus. So you're really rewarded for doing a good job. So the client is okay, he can give you gifts. But all those gifts need to be added over to HR. And then HR will decide what to do with them. The moment clients discover that all their, their wines over Christmas are normally given, put somewhere, they stop giving. Because they were not giving the company. They were giving you as an individual. Because they wanted to influence you. So, Peter, the straightforward thing is, do not, do not accept gifts. Except, you tell the guy, thank you, I'm going to add it over to the company. I'm sure you really want the way the company served you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, thank you for that. We are listening. Thank you. Comment or ask a question? Sami has a question. Kindly go ahead, Sami. Sami? Are you there? Or is it Jimmy? Okay. Yes, it's uh, Meshek. Okay, Meshek, go right ahead. Okay, mine, I want to appreciate on the, the training. It was really good. And uh, I can concur with the fact that uh, it was said that doing this ethical issues as a cost for our price to pay. Because I remember immediately after graduation I, I was working with a certain employer who was also a consultant in the engineering field. But there is uh, this you know for consultants mostly our we work with the contractors. And there is one contractor who I used to Every time that I visit the site for inspection, always used to, to want to meet me at his office before I go to the site. And uh, whenever I was, I was against the issue, he also started using uh, one of his staff, one of his staff on site. Whereby, he would tell me that. Uh, Whenever I go inside, I approve everything <coughs> because they needed to cut. So, you know, just approve everything, then the uh, director will send you 10,000. So, at, at the 
back of my mind, I knew, I knew sometimes the head for us to balance. You, you try to think, now, what am I paid when I come here on site? And the contract is given this one for me. So it was very hard, but at the end of the day, I used to say, no, in fact, when a when, when contractor tried to, to approach me in such a way, I would, in fact, be more rough on them. I don't, I don't know whether it was right or wrong, but uh, whenever that issue of looking like you want to drive to influence the outcome of the site visit or, or rather the inspection, I would really get tough on them. And uh, eventually, the contractor was so against me that they said that uh, they did not want me to visit their site anymore. They needed another engineer. And to some extent, the same thing affected me in, the, in, the, in, the, in that uh, job that I was working because now the issues was like the contractor was raised in claim against, was complaining against me just because I was so against his plan. And I lost the job. But one thing that I, I, I really happy about the same thing it's because that one has helped me to be bold in the decision that I made. Whenever, and some other time I was also working with a contractor, whereby I was touched with the filling the tender document. And in this case, I was very close with most of the clients whom the contractor was dealing with. So at some point, you, you, you receive calls and you are told that uh, you are big is it's good. You have been looked good, and then you have to. You are told that uh, you need to to see somebody else for that they can finalize on the project. And whenever you fail to cooperate in this way, you end up losing a lot of uh, jobs for the contractor. And so it's really an hard, an hard thing to to bear with. But uh, by the end of it all, it works good for those who practice. But. Uh, Right. So thank you for the training. It's really good and helping us to, to grow ethically. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anybody else? We don't want to close you out. Now I want my gender to tell us something. <laughs> let, let me be... Uh, I'm asking a lady to tell us something on all this. I don't want to point at somebody one of the ladies, please come forward. Catherine Jerry, are you there? Catherine Jerry, are you available? Faith? You're not there, or none of the ladies is here. Please, Mary Waroinge. Who is there? 
Okay, Miriam, let me speak on. <laughs> let me take the chance to talk. Huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, the training has been good. Yeah, yeah. this is faith. The training has been good. Uh, we have learned quite, and uh, especially in this uh, environment we are operating in, uh, from the training it will help us out to to remain ethical in uh, our daily work, in it at home, everywhere at work, and to live a, a good life and do our, our best in whatever we are doing. Okay. Asanti sana. Last, last, last. <laughs> the last person to comment. Mita <laughs> Rome. Thank you very much. No, no, I just wanted to ask you a question now, a different question. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm all yes. Yeah, what do you think could be causing the active group I dealt with last time to become so shy this time? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I really enjoyed the last training, but today it sounds like uh, the, 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 you're a big group, but very few people are able or willing to uh, talk? What, whatever answer I give John would be my own guesswork. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, you you have to guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they, they see in my place that uh, <coughs> the, the river gets quiet when it is get, starts getting deep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, then we, uh, that's okay. That's a good answer. It means people understand, they are happy, there's nothing to say. Thank you. I'll take that as the the, the truth. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Wahome, every you are all happy. You are now going out to do what is necessary to make this a reality. Uh, of course, <laughs> the the kind of thing is uh, is an ongoing. Uh, uh, exercise. Um, we definitely don't want to be caught up in in a scandal anywhere, you know, of uh, some infrastructure, some bridge fading or anything, and it turns out that uh, our engineers or the, the, the team on the ground uh, were compromised. As my colleague, Meshak uh, Imprite, you know, uh, there are a lot of uh, contractors and business people out there who, who, who are only focused on uh, making a fast pack. And uh, our responsibility is the auditing of infrastructure and uh, correct checks. It's, 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 it's the complete uh, operation to uh, that kind of thing. So we are very worried uh, that our business would, uh, would uh, not have a future. We, we don't uh, do the practice uh, a lot of professional ethics, and that is the reason why all this effort is coming in. We are going forward, as we mentioned, um, we will uh, continue with the discussion as all of the forum, and uh, right up to the level where we actually execute, uh, sort of like signing against the uh, uh, conflict of interest policies and, uh, you know, in the kind of, um, uh, you know, signing that even even from this training, uh, I really hope that uh, you'll give a certificate that we shall sign or something. I don't know whether <laughs> that has been arranged so that um, uh, we are not operating from a point of uh, ignorance, but rather we know, and uh, maybe that's a good starting point for, for, for change. Uh, thank you, Miriam. We are happy with uh, what you have presented. We hope that uh, it will go a long way in uh, achieving the objective. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. A journey of a thousand miles.
starts with the first step in the right direction. So it, it's not that we are expecting you to do everything uh, next week, but we are saying if only, if only we can take the first step in the right direction, then you know you are you know you'll be doing the right thing and you will be successful. And I am glad you are saying you are worried, you know, about getting into pitfalls of a medical behavior. So it's 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 good that uh, you you have you have you have done the training. Now take the necessary first step in the right direction, and then maybe we will even be able to work with you in the you know, in, in, in moving you know, in, towards the goal. So thank you so much. And um, as, as I hear, you engaged a lot more. <laughs> In the leadership training, but even today, you have you have not really been uh, extremely quiet. So we, we thank you so much then for you know for for, for 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 being in the training. We we really want to say that um, we're happy with you. We will then we are, units will tell us how the certification will be done. And then we will move ahead.